Hi everyone, Allison here from the Craigley Heritage Depot in the Blue Mountains Public Library for another museum show and tell. And this month, all month long in May, we are going to focus on the Beaver Valley Agricultural Society and Fall Fair, starting with artifacts this week, an art activity next week, and a special focus on former Fall Fair ambassadors in the last two weeks of May. Agriculture has, and still does, play a strong role in the town of the Blue Mountains. While crops are diversified today and include major fruit production, back in 1871, top field crops included wheat, barley, oats, peas, potatoes, and turnips. Wool production was also an important output in 1871, and there were 465 acres of garden and orchards, well up from just the two acres of gardens recorded in 1851. Annual fairs in the local area began in the mid-1860s with a joint agricultural society formed by farmers in Euphrasia and Collingwood Townships. And the first fairs were held in Thornbury until 1869, then in Heathcote, which was formerly known as Williamstown. And after 1869, the townships decided to have their own societies. So in 1870, the Collingwood Township Agricultural Society was formed and a yearly fall fair started taking place in Clarksburg at the new armories that same year. William J. Marsh of Clarksburg and Grape Grange was the first president of the Agricultural Society. Inside is a note written by the president, W. J. Marsh, and his address is to friends and brother farmers. The present is the eighth year of the existence of the Collingwood Township Agricultural Society since its separation from the Township of Euphrasia. The pioneers who, with commendable enterprise, formed and sustained for a number of years previous to 1870, a union society of these townships have had the satisfaction of seeing two prosperous societies succeed that union. And here we have signed off by Marsh, 1878. This image appears in an illustrated history of Collingwood Township and shows people gathered to watch competitions being judged at the fall fairgrounds in Clarksburg in 1910. And in this picture here, you see a photo from the 1920s with a view of the armories in the background of the fair. Membership in the Agricultural Society in 1870 was just $1, and that didn't change for 100 years until it was raised to $2 in 1970. In 1967, the Collingwood Township Agricultural Society was renamed the Clarksburg Agricultural Society. In 1968, the Fall Fair was moved to a new community center location in Thornbury beside Morrow Park. And so after almost 100 years, the Clarksburg Fairgrounds were no longer used for that purpose. In 1972, the society's name changed again to the Beaver Valley Agricultural Society, as it's still named today. And I encourage you to check out the Beaver Valley Agricultural Society's website here, beavervalleyballfair.ca. And I will include a link in the description for you as well, in order to stay up to date on all things fair related. 2020 marks the 150th anniversary of the Agricultural Society's hosting of the annual Fall Fair in this municipality. And as a celebration of the 150th year, an online exhibit has been created to show you some of the special items in the Society's collection, the museum collection, and also your, the community's collection. So we have ambassadors and queens, news and highlights, and booklets as well. If you have memories you'd like to share, pictures, videos, or writings of the Beaver Valley Fall Fair, check out the link in the description for a public submission page. Besides the Fall Fair, throughout its years, the Agricultural Society also hosted seed fairs, a spring horse and bull show, a baby show, which lasted from 1923 until 1968, school parades, school fair prizes, an antique machinery display started by Bill Milne and Robert Buchanan, and a beauty contest which transformed into the ambassador competition we know today. The first ambassador, who at that time was crowned a fair queen, was June Abbotts, and the annual competition evolved into selecting fair ambassadors, and this process continues today. 
To see pictures and news articles about other former fair ambassadors over the years, visit the online exhibit link in the description. Here we have a Collingwood Township Agricultural Society prize list from 1917 in a very long skinny ledger. And we see different categories inside. For example, fine arts. We have different categories, painting on silk or satin, landscape painting, watercolor. And we see different names of locals here. We have dairy and other produce. Best luncheon, canned fruit. We have garden vegetables, sweet corn, globe beets, looks like long blood beets, carrots intermediate, celery, self-blanching, tomatoes, summer squash, winter squash. We see prizes for horses. Agricultural, spring colt, one-year-old, two-year-olds. This is a 1918 prize list for the Clarksburg Fall Fair, September 17th and 18th. And inside we see members of the Agricultural Society, as well as rules and regulations. No person will be allowed to to drive or ride faster than a walk on the grounds amongst the visitors with any horse or vehicle, but only on the grounds especially prepared for that purpose. And then we see the different classes for judging. We also have a 1945 Collingwood Township Agricultural Society prize list for the fall fair to be held at Clarksburg. And again, it shows the members of the Agricultural Society here. Rules and regulations, ads from different community businesses, and then the different classes to be judged. There are a couple of posters from the museum collection for the Collingwood Township Agricultural Society Fall Fair. and 1954-1956. To quote the Beaver Valley Agricultural Society from their website, the Fall Fair is more than just farmers comparing their annual notes on livestock and crop success and failure. In the days before the telephone, never mind the internet, people had to meet to communicate. Now we choose to meet to celebrate the annual harvest, to educate tourists and residents alike on our farming history and culture, to promote the local agricultural industry and lifestyle, and to celebrate our community's life and pride by providing the longest running community event in the Blue Mountains. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next week for a fall fair and agricultural themed art activity next Friday at 1pm. Bye!